Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am making a super awesome resin coffee bowl using real coffee beans. And I've done this before, but so far this one is my favorite. It is just so much fun. So I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, and this mold is about uh, 13 and a half inches across or so. And um, for this project, I'm using about 13 ounces of resin. I'm not filling the mold in completely, or it would be too thick to make it into a bowl. And then I am using a polycolor copper mica. That's that darker brown color. And then this is polycolor copper mica mixed with a tiny bit of alumilite black dye. And then in the middle there, I made a very custom color with alumilite white resin dye, a tiny bit of the copper, and a tiny bit of gold mica as well. So that's just a custom color. I let that cure for about six hours until it was at the stage where it was no longer sticky but still very pliable. I demolded it and then I molded it into a plastic bowl. This plastic bowl is around 100 ounces in volume and about 11 inches across. You can use virtually any bowl for this and I just shaped it how I wanted it in there. I then took a vinyl decal of a coffee cup with some steam coming off of it and this I had printed on gold vinyl on my silhouette printer. So you may be able to get some made for you on Etsy or something like that or you can always make your own. Um, once I had put that down, I put a small layer of resin over it just to seal that in and then used my torch to get rid of any air bubbles and let that cure. I let this all cure for about a day or two, then I took it out of the plastic bowl. Now as a note, I recommend even if you do take it out here to put it back in the plastic bowl for at least a few days so it has time to fully harden. I then took an oil-based paint marker and painted the top edge of the bowl. And I prefer oil-based. You can use acrylic um, or other things, but this is what I prefer and it's just really easy to get a gorgeous look. It stays there. You don't have to worry about sealing it in or anything. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, you would have to really work to get this off, so it'll last a long time. And I did the entire top edge with that, and that I think just gives it an additional little pop of color and contrast that I really love. And that's it for the project. Pretty simple overall. And here's how it looks complete. I think this is just gorgeous. So much fun. Uh, you could keep like your coffee pods in here. You can keep your uh, keys and knickknacks and whatever else you like. But there you guys go. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys are having fun making your own resin bowls. If you're doing that, you can do these so many different ways. Um, but yeah, just have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys all next time.